everyone welcome to my channel we're doing your it's back it's back divine feminine when oh we are back we are back this uh this series uh took a uh, took a back seat um just like your relationship no <laughs> kid <laughs> you guys are hilarious welcome to all the divine feminine and the gorgeousness the divine feminine does not talk about your genitalia it talks about the energy Okay, which means like you may be the divine feminine in the relationship. You're more on the yin side that tries to act like the yang side. So I need you to stay in your lane and be the yin. You want to be the yin? Be the yin. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see what you guys have for me. So the divine feminine does not talk about zodiac. This is a matter of your situation. Are you the divine feminine? Because if you are, then this reading is for you. I, I do a different way of reading this, which means I will start with an oracle first. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Is the Divine Feminine. The career. Okay, so the Divine Feminine has been focusing on their work, work, work. I say work, don't work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it depends. If twerking gets you the work, why not? I'm kidding. So um, right now, what I want you to understand is like you are going to be having a career of your life. The joy, the celebration. Let's just say you don't have a job, then you will find a job. Let's just say you have a job, then now is the time that you will progress. That's, that's the career. Very, very important is your stability. Compassion. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where I feel that some people are in right now. Let's just say you have a career and then you're, you're you know you have this compassion for others who are not doing so well, right? It's it's easy as looking at everybody outside like there's always someone who's not doing so well. In the eyes of Jeff Bezos, we don't look so well. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. So it's a matter of where you are in life, right? And what are you gonna do about it? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Confidence, mm -hmm. healing. Mm -hmm. and blessing okay so this is the ability to share not just material not just your emotion but okay your whole transformation be an example this is what I say because I feel like the blessing um, that is coming your way or that you need to share with other people is not about you being there physically action I give this da 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 it's more of the healing part, which I feel like I kind of connect on this ish, you know, but doesn't mean I'm the divine feminine at all. There's nothing divine I'm kidding in me <laughs> within this person. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Of course, there is all. There, we're all divine. But um, with the healing part over here, it shows that be an example to other people that you take the courage because it's a confidence that you focus on yourself in your job during the healing process. You woke up, you did what you have to do, and then you keep pushing. Now, when I say you keep pushing, you just, you, you try to see it in a productive way. Um, you learn to manage your energy where it's like, okay, there, I'm going through a healing process, but I will not, you know, I will not draw ball with my career. I still need to be compassionate to myself that I need to take care of myself first. And then blessing comes to you. So this is you setting up a good example. If you even have kids, this is you showing to your kids that as a human being, you're able to do this. You're setting up a good example. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's tough if you're a single mom or a single dad. I'm single, mom and dad. <laughs> combination. Combina no, you're not a combination, Sal. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Mm. Oh, should I use this? Okay, fine. I'll use this deck. Okay. For Divine Feminine. What are we doing? Princess of Wands and the Sun card. Okay. So, I feel like we're attracting someone. Who are you, Michiko Latino? Mm -hmm. The sun card is the attraction. We gaze into the sun, we get like, the sun cannot, not, cannot hypnotize us, but it does get attraction, right? The moon is different. So you will find yourself attracted to someone. 
or you're already attracted to someone. Mm. This is your masculine. The sun is a masculine energy also. So that's Leo, of course, but the sun right now is inside the Scorpio. Mm -hmm. So this is you coming in to slay. Mm. This is, if you have gone through that phase already with the Oracle, I feel like this is where you're coming now. Ooh, let's see. The tower. Bam, chicka, wow, wow, magnetic attraction because it's coming in between the two of you. Mm -hmm. I feel like you know and they know about this tense, tense kind of attraction, you know, because it's a lot of passion. It ignites, it burns, you know. Not the other kind that it burns that you need to go to the health department. That's a different burning sensation. You need to get checked. <laughs> With the tower over here, it's a desire, you know. The two of you probably wants to make love. Mm -hmm. The sun is the baby. The tower is actually, is the height. It's Normally the tower is an orgasm, traditional, okay? Is orgasm. So you may feel this kind of energy also when you are intimate with this person. You feel like, oh my God, Sal, I didn't know I can sing in different notes. But they made sure <laughs> that <laughs> I was able to reach a very high note. Uh, they deliver. Mm -hmm. Your masculine energy delivers. Two of Pentacles, but this has been ongoing. Okay, so you attracted. There was a separation also. You come back, and then there, you're still attracted to them. Separation, come back, still attracted. You came, you slay, separation again, come back. So now we are looking at a cycle of what we call kiss and make up. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's a kiss and make up. You just have to look at it as how it is. Let's see. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Mm, that's the truth. Okay. So you've cut this person off. Mm -hmm. You came back, they came back also. So there is a yo-yo kind of relationship. Because it keeps coming back. Mm -hmm. It keeps coming back. Yo-yo. Let me see. Eight of Wands. And they're about to communicate. Mm. So the Divine Feminine here already has someone. You're already connected with someone. Now... This person wants to communicate after the separation. Now, of course, this is a scene. This is normally seen, especially with Venus going in retrograde. Then this is what it's gonna bring to you. So if it's if you're asking right now, what will it bring? Eight of Wands. Now Venus is not communication. I'm not sure where Mercury is. If Mercury is in Scorpio, but I know the eclipse happened in Mercury. Uh, with the solar eclipse happened uh, during Mercury, Mercury was there together with K2. Mm -hmm. So it definitely can be a younger person also where we're seeing that they have to, they, they needed some time to think because Mercury is young in. So um, I feel like the awakening part happened okay during the solar eclipse on their end because solar here is the sun. Mm -hmm. You, however, you already given them their peace. You talk to them, you told them that this cannot happen, but what's this about? The two of pentacles. When you slay, you slay. You're an empress to this person, which means you are the divine feminine and they're the divine masculine. Mm -hmm. But there's a big but, not the other kind, like the kulo, <laughs> a big but, okay, is that this person wants to talk. So link down there in the description box below. We'll see what's gonna happen in your connection. So welcome, welcome back to all the Divine Feminine. Thank you very much. We are back and getting stronger and stronger than yesterday. Okay, so everything you need is gonna be at eatreadlove.me, the number one. There's only one store that you should be getting anyway, all your metaphysical magical needs. And also you can visit our store in Los Angeles. Get your full moon manifestation. Last call, last chance is today because this is December 18. I already sent out an email on what you can manifest. So if you're not part of that email, make sure to sign up in our website. Sign me up, daddy. No, sign me up in the newsletter. It just says there, okay? Sorry about that. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you guys again. Bye.